Come on, man. Don't let Gareth see you driving like this. You'll be off the team. <laughs> I won't tell him. For the last, I'd say, a couple of years now, probably since we started getting into like lockdowns and stuff like that, small stale, small stale, I always say that, small scale crawlers have got really popular and FMS, Rock Hobby, Easy RC have been absolutely killing it with some of the hard body stuff recently. And in this video, we're gonna delve a little bit deeper into the difference between the licensed expensive stuff from FMS and the unlicensed cheaper stuff from Easy RC. Now FMS, Easy RC and Rock Hobby are all manufactured by the same people. Now I don't know the full relationship between all of them. All I know is FMS generally go to the higher end with the licensed stuff like the Chevy you got there and the um, FJ Cruiser and then Easy RC are all the way at the other end of the scale where they're the cheaper stuff that's the unlicensed but looks very similar to the, the higher end stuff. And then you've got Rock Hobby that kind of sit in the middle and for me performance wise they sit in the middle as well. This video is just FMS and Easy RC. And Rock Hobby also cover like the military stuff and they got some absolutely crazy stuff. Once they got, they got the one sit scale Willy which is over there. And I've just reviewed the 112 scale Kubel Wagen from them, which is really good. And they've also got the 112 scale Willys Jeep, which is also really good. Anyway, let's get a closer look at them and let's look at what the difference is between say $200 and $100, just sort of rough estimates. So before you even get them out of the box, you can tell there's a slight difference in quality. The FMS and Rock Hobby stuff always comes really nice packaged in like a foam or polystyrene case enclosed in there, neatly packaged. Lots of nice pictures and descriptions on there. The Easy RC stuff just comes in a, a normal box with like blister packaging in there. And also we've got a difference in transmitter quality and functions. The Easy RC ones are quite cheap and plasticky. They do have your steering trim and throttle trim on them, but other than that, they are just a generic cheap controller. FMS ones on the other hand really not feel really nice good quality nice foam wheel depending on what model it is you've got different functions under here but basically you've got your steering trim throttle trim you've got channel 4 channel 5 channel 6 a and b mode and some of the rock hobby stuff has a two-speed gearbox as well which has usually got a little switch on there so quite a big difference between the transmitters a lot more functions on your FMS one. Now let's get right into it and let's pick I think we're going to take the Triton or Triton and the FJ Cruiser. Purely because I don't want to start pulling this apart because it is actually one of my favorites. Um, and again, I'm gonna probably do some stuff with this. So we'll pull this apart another day. Before we put these to one side, let me just show you. If you look on this one, it's obviously licensed and it's got Chevrolet on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Now this is the Easy RC one, that's the Glacier. But I don't know who first found this. It's probably on Facebook or one of the groups or something. But if you peel sticker off, come on, ready? Then, then, then. <laughs> so obviously using the same mold as that one. So all you need to do is make yourself a little Chevy badge and you got yourself a licensed Chevy for half the price, top tip. Although as you'll see on the video, that does perform a little bit better. Right, so I've got the scales out first because this is a little app. These are Sky RC wireless scales, very good because there is a slight weight difference. So if we put the Easy RC on first, I'll hold it up to the screen. You can always pause it if you want, or in fact, let me screenshot that. So I'll put that up on the screen. So you can see the difference there. Um, it's rear biased. Is the battery in it? No, no battery in it. So, so it's rear biased. The total weight is 415 grams. So it's pretty unbalanced there. Um, total weight 414. We'll put the FMS on. You see straight away it's 529. And that's again uh, rear biased. Although it just made me think then. If I put a battery in, it's going to change that. So, so with a battery, it's still biased towards the rear, and that's probably because of the weight of that wheel on there. If I put on the screen now, side by side, the screenshots I've put, you'll see the difference not only in the weight, that's lighter, you'll also see that looks a little bit better balanced. So we might as well do these while we're here. That is, that's still, that's front heavy, that one, that's pretty good. Put that on the screen. 
that is 563 grams and again weighted at the front and that is 467 so again lighter i'll leave a link to these in the description really handy sky rc wireless um, corner weights perfect for setting up over your drift car your drag car your crawlers lots and lots of uses so body wise it's very similar there are some slight differences so the front end is different the front bumper is different obviously this has got the toyota branding three spotlights there this one's got a different bumper with just the two uh, spotlights this one's got a snorkel this one hasn't. I just remembered I lost a wing mirror on this. I don't think that would have made massive difference to the weight, but so snorkel, no snorkel. Other than that, pretty similar side view there. Pretty similar or almost, well, it is exactly the same. This one's got an interior that will add to that weight. This one has got no interior. Rear, again, very similar. This one's obviously got the Toyota branded and a number plate. This one has got nothing on the back. Both have got lights. This one's better. The lights stay on all the time. This one, the lights just come on when you're driving it. I just prefer this. I'm not sure the difference functions. I think you've got more functions on that as well for your lights. Um, but yeah, both got lights. Tires and wheels, exactly the same from what I can feel. Now, now someone mentioned in the video of these running, when I took them out to the Beds um, RC Club, Sean said he thought these tyres were better. They actually feel the same, though. I don't know. Maybe they're a slightly different compound, but they feel the same. Anyway, I'm going to take the body off both of them, and then we can have a look at the electronics, talk about that, and then I'll leave the rest of the video so you can see them running side by side, all four of them, and you can hear what the guys are talking about and how they feel, how they right drive. Then. So, body's off. Stripped them down. I've stripped a rear axle as well. We'll get onto that in a minute. This is the electronics of the FMS. So you've got a nine gram digital three wire servo in there. And on the Easy RC, we've got a five wire servo. I presume it's nine grams because it's got a nine in the part number, but you can notice a difference in the steering ability. This one has got much more controllable and a little bit more, um, a little bit more reach as well with the steering or angle than this one. And that's noticeable and you'll see on the video, hopefully, and you'll hear the guys mention that the steering's a little bit better on the FMS. You can't really tell much difference apart from the circuit board's different. This one actually looks like it's got a bit of waterproofing on it, whereas the FMS one doesn't look like it's got any. Even to the untrained eye, you can see this one looks a little bit more technical with all the uh, chips on it and the two capacitors on it. This one looks a little bit more basic. And again, the actual driving of these, I've watched some videos and some people have said the Easy RC drives exactly the same as the FMS. That is incorrect. Again, you'll hear, if you listen um, on the video of them running, you'll hear the guys mention that the FMS ones are actually a little bit more controllable. And that is only noticeable when you're really running them side by side. If you were just to run the Easy RC and then a few hours later, maybe run the FMS, you might not notice. But side by side, driving one straight after the other, there's definitely that one, the FMS, drives much easier and smoother. Better modulation, better steering, and just overall a better experience. Gearboxes, drive shafts, links and stuff, they all look exactly the same. The FMS chassis is metal. The Easy RC chassis is plastic. And speaking of plastic, the Easy RC gears, crown and pinion, on the axle of the Easy RC, it's got brass bushings in there and it's plastic. Now this is really where it's showing one of its qualities. The FMS are metal, metal gears, so metal versus the plastic of the Easy RC. It's still brass bushings and not bearings, but that is quite a significant quality difference there. So I expect you're probably a little bit bored of me talking now, so let's go over and see these all driving side by side. I picked four of the best drivers at the BERCC, and we swapped around halfway through, and you should be able to hear them, and you'll be able to see the differences between the two. And I guess you wanna know, is it worth the extra money for an FMS? I'm gonna say yes, it is. And I've got something in my hand down here, which I'm gonna show you now. This is coming out very soon. It's not yet been released. I know some of you are gonna go mad for this one from FMS. Anyway, cheers for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. That looks absolutely proper for me. It's got 1080 in it. 
So the expensive one taking the lead, the Chevy K10. And then we've got the Triton. FMS FJ. Come on, Sean, keep up. And then the Glacier. All of them should be able to get up here because I've already driven up here with them. We've got the Rock Hobby following behind, the Rock Hobby Fire Horse. So all of them should be able to get over here. The FMS have slightly better control. <laughs> What do you reckon to it? I love that mate, this, this is so cool. So the, the FMS one's got slightly better modulation, so slightly better electronics, but... So as you can see, all of these performing very well. The extra money for licensing and the slightly better quality electronics not really showing through too much. <laughs> you can see though with that, this is slightly more jerky than than this FJ here which has got a bit more control just don't like them lights coming on when you uh, accelerate yeah it's a little bit more it's not quite as smooth as um, where's the Chevy gone oh he's there yeah don't scratch the paintwork that's a new that's new it's new body you just scratched it it's the best looking one as well. Oh, I've opened the tailgate now. Oh. Look, open tailgate. I was giving that to an orphanage at Christmas. Oh, are you really? So that's FMS. Yeah. And the red Chevy is FMS. And then the other two, that one and that one are EZRC, which is like a sister company of FMS. They do like the cheaper versions. Then that's Rock Hobby. They're all pretty much FMS the same. Do the tiny one, don't yeah, they? That's, well. Yeah, that's, yeah. So all of them, as you can see, doing pretty well. These look so cool going around this little course. A little train of 118 scales. Right, swap round now. So Sean, Paul, you swap with you two so that you get like, and you'll see the, di no, the we've slight got difference. Car, aren't we? uh, no, they're, they're no, different. Ah, oh, different. You'll mate. notice the difference now. So if you swap, right, okay. you'll notice the difference. Yeah. So you see the difference in it. Oh man, that's a much better control. So swapping the drivers round and giving the two guys that were driving the Easy RC now have got the FMS instantly. I mean, you can probably see it on the video, but they've also yeah steering so 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 better steering better throttle control better modulation the lights as well so the fms lights stay on all the time whereas the easy rc ones only come on when you accelerate so it makes them look like they're flickering a bit when you're trying to drive price difference though they're twice the price of these the Them two are twice the price of these two, yeah. So these two are about 90 quid. Them two, the yellow one's just under 200, I think. And the red one's just over 200. Quid? Yeah. That yellow effect? Yeah, that's 180 quid, I think. And that one is 90 quid. That one's about 90. And the red one's two on, about, that's about 200. So general consensus is that these two drive much better than these two not saying there's anything wrong with these but the price difference is definitely reflected in the drivability of them we've swapped the drivers around so that they can have a feel for both and they all agree these two are the best looking though out of all of them aren't they even this one this one looks nice the glacier or glacier
I meant to do that. I was looking at the camera, I was looking at this one on the camera and not at the blue one. Thank you very much for driving. General consensus then that these ones, although they're pretty good looking um, price and priced well, these two definitely perform better. Agreed? Perform better, yeah. don't they? Yeah. yeah. Them two definitely perform better. And this one, I think the Rock Hobby is kind of price points in the middle of these two and I think it performs pretty much in the middle of these two as well. Better than that, not quite as good as that.